Hello everybody, in this video I will show you how to modify the theme of NetBeans 12.3 and how to install the Darkula Dark theme. So NetBeans allows you to choose one among different themes. So to do this, we have to go to Tools, then Options, then Appearance, and then Look and Feel. So here we see that the default theme is called Windows. If you modify it, you need to restart NetBeans. So this is the list of available themes. So the first themes are light themes and the three last themes are dark themes. So let's try this dark theme. So I click on okay, then I need to restart NetBeans. Now, this is the appearance of this dark theme. Let's see the editor. So this is the appearance of the editor. And this is the, this is the appearance of the IDE. Now, if we want to choose another light theme, let's go to tools again, then options, then appearance, then we can select this example of a light theme, then OK. Now let's restart NetBeans again. So this is another light theme that you can use with NetBeans. If one of the available themes is good for you, you can use it. But if you want to install another dark theme called Darkula theme, then I will show you now how to do this. So let's use the navigator and then let's type NetBeans Darkula. Now let's go to this first link. And then we see that this plugin is for NetBeans 8, but it is also uh, compliant with NetBeans 12.3. So let's download it and then let's save it. Now that I have selected, uh, now that I have downloaded the plugin, I should install it on NetBeans. So to install the plugin, I should go to Tools, then Plugins, then I have to go to Download it because I downloaded the plugin, then I select it from my computer, then open. Now I have to install this plugin. So let's click on install. Now click next. Now I have to accept the license, then install, then continue. Now I have to restart NetBeans in order to install the plugin. So as you can see, the installer has successfully installed this plugin. So let's click on finish to restart NetBeans. So as you can see, the Darkula theme has not been applied. To apply it, we have to go again to Tools, then Options, then Appearance, then Look and Feel. And in this list, we have to select Darkula. But this is not all. We have also to go to Font and Colors. And we have to select the Darkula profile. So let's select the Darkula profile, then OK. Of course, we need to restart NetBeans. And now, as you can see, we have this Darkula uh, theme used with NetBeans. So this is the editor. And as you can see, the, it is it uses the Darkula profile. So thank you very much for watching.